Pastor Julian here with Central's Devotion for today. Let me read to you from Proverbs chapter 17, verses 27 to 28. It says, Whoever restrains his words has knowledge, and he who has a cool spirit is a man of understanding. Even a fool who keeps silent is considered wise. When he closes his lips, he is deemed intelligent. I saw an editorial cartoon uh, several months ago where, which portrayed a man sitting at his computer on Facebook and his wife in the other room, and he shouts to his wife, That's odd. My Facebook friends who were constitutional scholars uh, just a month ago are now infectious disease experts. This pertaining to everyone sharing their opinion on the Constitution and then all of a sudden sharing their, everybody became uh, an expert sharing their opinion on uh, infectious diseases when the COVID-19 pandemic began and throughout the COVID-19 pandemic. And now I've seen an addendum to that editorial cartoon where it says, uh, Honey, all my friends who were infectious disease experts just a little while ago are now civil rights experts. It seems that whatever is going on in the world, whatever problem that we have going on, whatever the issue is at hand, everybody wants to weigh in and share their thoughts and their opinion and wants to think that they're even an expert on it, that their opinion has the most weight and, and their information is the most accurate. And we live in a day and age where people don't trust the media like they once did. A lot is surfaced with regards to the media manufacturing stories and images. Uh, and, and there's what's going around called fake news. And so we, we as the public are confused as to what is accurate, what is true, uh, what is factual. And, and then that combined with the ability to hide behind a computer screen and post stuff and just send it out into the internet universe is, uh, it's, it, it equals disaster. I've seen more and more over these past three months, and, and, and especially now, people unfriending other people or blocking people from, uh, from, from being able to connect with them on social media. There's a lot of discord right now, and a lot of people have lost friends. And it doesn't just go with social media. Social media is probably the most prominent area where you see people not restraining themselves. But the people who do restrain themselves, they are the ones with knowledge. And even if, according to our proverb today, even if someone who is a fool, who isn't all that smart, who might not be right most of the time, if they're quiet, they're deemed intelligent. And that in and of itself is wise to just keep silent when you don't know all of the facts and you don't believe that your opinion is the standard for everybody else. Going along with this as well, um, my wife uh, is, has inspired me because I will witness her getting upset at maybe an email from a, a a school official or a friend says something to her, uh, uh, maybe a family member, and instead of her reacting and just shooting something right back out of emotion, she, I said, well, you should do this. She said, no, I need to wait. I need to wait so that I can cool down and think about this rationally. And then I can give a, a fruitful or a good response as opposed to one that's based purely on the emotions you're feeling in that moment when you're most raw or frustrated. That's wise. 
That is very wise. And I would encourage you all to do the same. And to exercise that restraint that you need to have. To share your opinions all the time. Uh, to think that you're right about everything. And to just be patient. Be patient. If you are quiet, people may deem you intelligent or wise, whether you are or not. Uh, go forth and remember, hold off on those words. Hold off on those words. God bless you and have a good day.